And it's great to have you with us here on our Yankees Hot Stove segment on YesNetwork.com. Bob Lorenz, Jack Curry, John Flaherty, and Meredith Morakovitz with you. One of the great things about the winter meetings, and it's been a little slow so far, but you start to hear those rumors. And the possibility came up last night that maybe the Yanks and Mets could do some business together, Jack. And then you go, no, 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 they're not going to do that. And then you just keep hearing the rumors, right? Well, that's the best part about the winter meetings. You're right. Those rumors that we hear and then the chance to try and report them out and dissect them. And I don't want to speak for everyone on this panel, but I think as soon as we started to hear those words trickle out, and I believe Ken Rosenthal was the first to report it, I started to think about all the hurdles that it would take for a three-way trade, even if the Marlins were involved, that the Mets doing something with Noah Syndergaard that would potentially help the Yankees, and suddenly the Yankees have Severino and Syndergaard, the two best velocities on fastballs in Major League Baseball at the top of their rotation. It just always seemed to me as if there were too many hurdles for something like this to be consummated. I agree, but it, it gives us a little glimpse into the new organization with the Mets, with their new general manager, that he's willing to at least talk about some of these things. And then you wonder about Syndergaard. Would they be willing to move him? Does he know something about him that everybody else doesn't, which usually your organization does? But Real Mudo is the real deal behind the plate. The Mets need a catcher, but I think there are too many obstacles for this to go down. But I love the fact that they're even talking about it because it seems to be a new new GM, a new sheriff in town at Flushing, he's not afraid to get creative. And I don't think this one is going to get done. I think we're all in agreement on that. But like you mentioned, it's really opening up the floodgates that potentially down the road something could happen between the Yankees and the Mets. But when you look at this deal for the Mets, I don't know how it makes that much sense for them. Obviously, they need the catcher in Real Muto. There are other people that are trying to enlist his services as well. The Phillies linked to him today as well. But giving up Syndergaard when you're trying to compete next year doesn't doesn't seem as though it would make a tremendous amount of sense for the Mets. It'd be a good deal for the Yankees. Though. And we also heard the name of Miguel Andujar mentioned is potentially part of what would be a three-team trade. And it makes you wonder, are the Yankees still high on him because he had tremendous upside in 2018? Or are they thinking, we're not sure he can be a polished product at third base? Right. We're talking about Syndergaard potentially coming to the Yankees. Let's fill in the blanks. Great point by you, Bob. You're not getting him for nothing. You're going to have to put something into that deal. And then Duhar looms as the trade piece that the Yankees seem to be willing to include. When you look at the free agent market and what pitchers are potentially getting or have already gotten, I think the Yankees see a trade as an option. And I think Duhar, as much as they love him, seems to be someone of value that they could get or use to get a frontline starter. By the way, just curious, go ahead, Flash. No, I'm just curious on with Andujar. They're so willing to talk about him in trade talks, and it's only going to be about his defense, is the liability that he can't get better at third base. I mean, we've seen a lot of rookies come up to the big leagues, kick the ball around a little bit, have some problems, clean it up, and turn into at least an average defender. That's a bat that I'm surprised they're talking so much about. But then you wonder, is Manny Machado still going to be in that conversation as a possibility at third? Base. And I think that's it right there. If you move and do hard, you probably get Manny Machado. And I think that's ultimately perhaps what the Yankees want to do, whether or not they'll be able to match up in terms of years and money, that remains to be seen. But having Machado and Andujar does not make a tremendous amount of sense, knowing that Didi Gregorius is going to be back midway through the season. By the way, here's the last fun thing uh, from the winter meetings, especially when you hear rumors. How many times do you then check Twitter, right? We're constantly, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah. noses in the phones. You see it here with everybody. You do it, too. Admit <laughs> it. All right, that's it for us on YesNetwork.com. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget, check YesNetwork.com for all the latest Yankees news and for air times of Yankees Hot Stove on Yes.